That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. Cokehead, crackhead, cokehead, crackhead. Hey, girl gang. Happy Friday, everybody. Woo! It is Friday. I am so excited. It's Friday. It has been a week full of fuck shit. And I am ready for a little cheese, a little butt stuff, and a little bit of Foodie Beauty, one of Foodie Beauty's most embarrassing moments. Anyway of all time. It was amazing. Picture it. Gatineau 2021 full on crackhead Olympics. She is cracked out of her mind. There's an engagement ring and then there's a denial. Oh, it's such a good one. Holy shit. We will get into it. Classic moment of crackhead Olympics tonight. How are you guys before we get into all of that? Good to see you too, HD. Good to see all you girls. Before we get into anything, just a reminder, uh, five more BBJ calendars are up for grabs. We will be uh, drawing and announcing the winners tomorrow at noon Eastern time. So if you have missed yesterday's stream or forgot to go back and leave a comment, you have time. We will be picking the winners tomorrow, like I said, noon Eastern and putting it up on the community tab. Good luck, everybody. Yay. Desperate. Wait, even a desperate crackhead didn't want her. That's right. That is correct. Anyway, this stream that we're going to watch tonight is so embarrassing for Chantal. It's just, it's like hit after hit after hit of embarrassment. He, Koki, is going out of his way to embarrass her. And she is so mortified. And she just loves him so much. It's so fucking embarrassing. So, <laughs> without further ado, oh no, wait. Before we get into it, another little reminder just to, to place ourselves for anybody who forgets. Um, so basically what ha happened was Chantal went ahead and bought herself an engagement ring. <laughs> That's what happened. The infamous Jafar ring, that hideous ring from Peoples, right? She went out, bought herself the ring. The meaning of the whole Jafar reference in reference to Koki was like an insult you know what I mean? Uh, that's what she did. And she thought there'd be an engagement. Uh, <clears throat> Desperado. She has a history of desperate uh, behavior in December, doesn't she? Uh, so Chantal gets herself an engagement ring. Gets cracked out of her mind. Puts on one of her most hideous crackhead Olympic outfits. And goes and takes a solo engagement shoot at Gatineau Park. For anybody who forgets, um, these were pictures posted up to her Instagram at the time. This was her posing with the ring alone. The ring she bought herself at Gatineau Park. 
coked out of her fucking mind. So she went and did that <clears throat> and announced to everybody that she's engaged. Then she came live from the trap. And the engagement um, didn't mean the same thing to him as it did to her. We'll put it that way. Ha! Ask. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for being here. Oh, oh, yeah, Oski's with the toys. It's the last night of being a conehead. Ooh, don't tell him. Tomorrow morning, cone comes off. Yay! <laughs> what's with the leg? You tell me what's with the leg. Crackhead. Crackhead. Again, every time that there's behavior that we can't explain or she does some stupid shit that I, I have no idea why, I just go, crackhead. It was the drugs. I can never understand <laughs> what was going on. Deidre, thank you for the super chat. I made the mistake of watching some cokey lore. Oh, boy. Let's just say I'm punchy. I have an idea then what you may have watched. And yes, that made everybody punchy. Fontina. I love it. Buffy St. Pondu. I love some Fontina. Thanks for joining and participating on Cheese and Butt Stuff Night. We love to see it. Mm. Funkel crackhead, crackhead antics. Yeah, Abby Cat, you're right, girl. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you, too. Nice to see you, girl. All right, y'all. <clears throat> well, well, now that we have reminded ourselves just how cracked out and, and what this whole fucking ring thing was all about. And again, keep in mind, she claimed to be engaged. Let me get the tab. Chantal is live at the trap. And they're going to be questioned about the ring and the engagement. <laughs> Hold on. Hello, Thanks for super chat. I'm going to read that. Let me see. Unmute it. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Same, right? He didn't have to, though. Koki didn't have to. He was getting the fucking rent money, whether he got the goddamn ring or not. He didn't want the ring. She wanted the ring. <laughs> Look at her scheming and conniving. Here's the story. He's not buying it. He's like, nah, nah. I don't, I'm not playing your friend. Oh, the Greeks are getting fucking defensive. I love it. Deserved. The Greeks were getting defensive on that. I just Frenchy from the present here because he had claimed to make moussaka and it was not fucking moussaka. There was no bechamel on top. Anyway, we're not going to go two years back in the past, but I remember everyone was fucking raging in the chat over it. Taz D, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Frenchy, can you roast me and dox me in the big boy voice for my birthday today? Taz D, happy birthday. <clears throat> Oh, I, I can't I can't do the big boy voice. My voice is too shot. Big boy. I can do it a little bit, but not too well. Taz D, <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Taz D, you've been doxxed. First name Taz, last name D. American dollars. Boom. That's your dox right there. Happy birthday, motherfucker. <laughs> They're muted, okay? It's not that I left them muted. She muted to explain this. And now she's coming back. Moto Goth, thank you so much for the Super Chat. Okay. Did Chantal buy her own engagement ring? If so... We're not engaged, guys. I have to buy a ring not yet. No, the ring, the, the black ring. Ah, uh, first of all, right there, right there. We're not engaged, guys. She had been telling us she's engaged. She took her own fucking engagement shot. We just looked at them. We're not engaged, guys. Oh, my God. Watch her face turn every shade of red. She's going to match her top in a minute. I'm, I'm going back. Let's just hear that one again. 
you know, just for her who's watching and salad if he gives two shits anymore. <laughs> Moto Goth, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. <laughs> Did Chantal buy her own engagement ring? If so, we're not engaged, guys. I have to buy a ring not yet. No, the ring, the, the black ring. So, what's wrong with that? I don't remember, honestly, guys, if I said this was an engagement ring or as I, I said it as a joke. I'm pretty sure I said it as a joke. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot how fucking cringe that was. I forgot if I said it was a joke. She took engagement pictures with the we just looked at the engagement shot. Oh my god. He shut that shit down with a quickness. And then she had to I don't remember. It was like the highlight of her fucking life, but she doesn't remember. Oh my God, that is the best fucking moment of all time. I love it so much. I love it the most. <laughs> Jerry Blossom Mocha, thank you for the super chat. You're right, girl. Some things will never change. Bless. Mm. I'd never log on again. <laughs> well, she has no shame. That's the difference. Oh my God. I'm late. Show it again. Oh, we're going back. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. The secondhand embarrassment is so strong. Same. I want to hide in my like top right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you imagine back to back losers? One of them scams you for rent money, denies you flat out. We are not engaged and wait, wait, we're not done. He's going to go on. It's going to get worse. <laughs> we are not engaged. What's up with that ring? Oh, we don't even know her, you know? And then the one she marries quote unquote is salad. And that's a whole fake marriage and engagement. She's so desperate to be married. It's so fucking pathetic, man. Oh, I love this the most. Smeg Magician, thank you for the super chat. He constantly looked like he was on the brink of tears. Yes, yes, absolutely. Moto Goth, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. <laughs> Did Chantal buy her own engagement ring? If so, we're not engaged, guys. I have to buy a ring, not yet. No, the ring, the, the black ring. So, what's wrong with that? I don't remember, honestly, guys, if I said this was an engagement ring or as I, I said it as a joke. I'm pretty sure I said it as a joke. Guys, as well as it. I should do it, Liz. Right? Make Burek? Me, if something will change, anything will change, I will let you know. If something. <clears throat> private, like, we will ask for deep private stuff. I'm not yeah. going to answer. I have the choice to answer. He's very private. But. Unlike me. No update from me. So the same. She went and did her little uh, engagement shoot alone, you remember? Posing there at the Gatineau Park with the ring on and her, her leg up with the snow. It was so fucking weird. I would, I, I, can't, I can't, I can't. There's no way I could sit there eating on his live stream after this moment. I would have had to leave. How can you sit on that live stream? How? How? You have to hate yourself. I'm sorry. You do. Okay. There is a level of self-loathing going on in this kitchen right now. I, I, can, I can't even do, 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 do. My brain doesn't know how to wrap around this. Oi. <sighs> yes. Yes. Stephen Pondu. This was the original chin uh, Spanx. This stupid top that she would tuck her chin into. She looked so dumb. It was amazing. Ah, oh, teaspoon. Thank you for the super chat. You could watch it on a loop for hours. Same, girl. Shell, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Thanks for asking a great question. <laughs> Anastasia, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Later in the car, she says it was an... What happened? I'm not saying what happened, what not happened. Guys, I'm honest to you. The ring...
Mm. The ring was not was not engagement ring. Yeah. So it was. Hmm? <laughs> what, what? You fuck around with him? No. This was before all bullshit happened between us. We were on a good track. We were talking about that and the ring and But when you received the ring you were gonna yeah. Was your fuck up time? So we're so unstable as a couple that between the time that we ordered an engagement ring and that engagement ring was delivered to us days later, the entire thing is off. <laughs> and it's not an engagement ring anymore, but you keep paying for my life. I just won't have this be an engagement. And let me add, it didn't stop her from going to Gatineau Park and doing that solo engagement photo shoot, but it wasn't an engagement anymore. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. I love this. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I don't believe that for a heartbeat. She's visibly bigger now, in my opinion. Great, Aunt Ray, thank you for the super chat. Starting the holiday baking today. Oh, that is so nice. Wow. Well, thank you for being here, girl. Oh, uh, you make me want to bake. <laughs> no, you make me want to eat cookies. <laughs> that was before he, okay, to translate, he goes, that was before your fucked up time. Like before you fucked up or before you got monetized, you man, bitch. God damn it. I love this. Every second of this, it just gets better and better. I fucking love it. <laughs> I could not, I, listen, there is no way I would be sitting there. How could you sit there? It, it's, ah, uh, it's like eating me alive. I want to get up and leave and I'm in another city. Fuck. Who's calling? You guys, you think I take phone call? <coughs> so I may as well just say, that's why I'm being so private about stuff and you are too private. Because of how no, for me to limit. I was. For me to yeah. limit. Some limits for me is yeah. private. Like. And I haven't so getting engaged or getting married, whatever is nothing private. Yeah. Not, nothing to gun hide for that. But something deep, you don't need to know how many shower I take a day. <clears throat> oh, look at him. Look at him. You don't need to know my private life. You don't need to know how many showers I take a day. Uh, dude. We're asking if you're engaged. I'm just saying that most people don't need to hide an engagement and don't need to twist the story of their engagement. And most people wouldn't say that that's knowing too much when, you know, we know about crack pipes and stuff at your house. Frenchie, from the present here, isn't that ironic? Considering over the past year, the engagement was private the the wedding was private everything about them is fucking private when you're doing shifty shit you have to hide it from people what that what was happening with him uh, her and koki shifty what's happening with her and salad shifty that's why hiding things then hiding things now mm -hmm. i'm just saying <laughs> kex the fuzzy thank you so much for the super chat First super chat ever, but I wanted you to know that every asking about ring. <laughs> See, Who's that? he wants to be private about it, guys. Let it go. It's in the what past. That? Being gay. Let it go, guys. It's in the past. Girl, shut the hell up. What do you mean, let it go? People are asking questions. This is a button. Look at look at how she's matching the color of her shirt right now. She is so mortified. <sighs> Chantal, this is why people keep asking. Are you insane? Girl. What the fuck? People are going to keep asking. And good. We see how much it bothers you. <laughs> Eerie T, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Hiding under my bed until this cringe passes. Ah. What the? He's avoiding it. What did you say? No, I'm not lying. <laughs> so, she, said, she said, you say I already engaged you with this ring. Did you say that? No, I said it was meant to be an engagement ring. No, she's not leaving here. Am I getting shit? Yeah, thank you. 
Um, Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm not lying. Did <laughs> <laughs> the call and correct me? Guys, I take phone call or no? No. Oh my God, Martina! Thank you so much for super chat. He said being engaged is nothing to be private about. Exactly, but in his mind, it's like, yeah, but I'm not engaged. So if I'm not engaged, I'm private about the story of why I'm not engaged now. Shut up, Koki. He's such a bitch. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. He knows we all want the tea. Flirty Hershey, hey girl. Thank you so much for super chat. This was so crazy. This this was highlight reel forever about Chantal. <laughs> oh yes i don't know it's up to you <laughs> you obviously put your spin on things Chantel. Uh, i don't know i told you what happened let fart guy call in <laughs> this is my damn. <clears throat> he'll say it wasn't an engagement ring but won't tell the actual truth Natter, sexy man, my way. Thank you for your call this morning. Oh. Also, Chantal lying. Thanks. You think I'm your way? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I wish you my way. Oh, my God. She's so mad right now. She's so mad right now. Can you imagine? The crackhead that you have been funding for eight months sits there next to you, will not admit that that was an engagement ring, but is flirting in his way <laughs> with random charmoots in the chat, and you're sitting right there. Guys, I know, listen, we don't always edit down Koki, but I told you, eh, when we do it, it's for a reason, and there was no fucking way we were not watching this one together. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm sitting here cackling like a witch with my J fucking enjoying this Friday. Ah, this is a great friggin' stream. Holy shit. <laughs> Crackhead Olympics, man. Good times. Nee Marie, wifey number three. Thank you for the super chat. Hi, my little croissant. I'm loving this for us. Today is my 10-month clean and sober date. That is so fucking awesome. Congratulations. Well done. Keep it up, girl. You got this, wifey. That's awesome. Thanks for switch us. No, it's not a peach piss. I'm not embarrassed. I mean, why? I just said what happened. I don't know why it would be embarrassing. What's that? We're just trying to be quiet, be very private, so. It's Ruby. Every, Don't worry. It's my way. He never said he would pay for your ring. Lies and lies. Yes, you did say that. Huh? You did say that. I mean, this is stuff yeah. I already said a long time ago, so this is all past stuff. You never said that? I don't like to talk about the ring now. I think it's done. Maria A. She's going to keep on trying. She is going to do everything she can to make him admit it. Because now she looks like the fool and she fucking knows it. But no matter how many times. And look at him. He's such a cocky bitch. He knows what he's doing too. <laughs> this is the best video ever. Radblad, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. <laughs> yeah, just roll out of there. No, no. This. I know we've all been waiting for a rage stream, but besides a rage stream, I can't imagine anything better than this. This deliciously. Oh my God. When she talks about people want to get her channel taken down and no, we don't. We want to see more of this shit. Come on, girl. <laughs> Seattle Sapphire's low car, bro. Thank you again for the super chat. She has the power to get up and leave and be done with this mess. She holds the corpse. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. But I, I I mean, we've been saying it, and I'm going to keep saying it, and if anybody ever needed a piece of it, of evidence of it, I've never seen someone so desperate before in my life. And if anyone didn't think that before this, <laughs> I give you exhibit A, and I rest my fucking case. 
who, who, I'm going to do a poll. Who, how many of us, no, this is too important. I need to know. <laughs> I need to know. Wait, wait, sidebar. Any of us. You desperate. Thanks for the super chat. What's embarrassing? <laughs> what embraced you? Nance, why aren't you private about all these other girls? Only Chantel. What other girls? <laughs> Am I allowed to have a little friends, right? <laughs> oh, the little smirk at the end, too. Look at him. Dude, my, my friends never gave me gonorrhea, okay? I, I never passed the clap to my partner because I had some friends of the other sex. Koki with that fucking crackhead beanie on sitting there like uh, the Adonis of this world. Take it down a notch, you fucking gat no crackhead. Someone needs to put this motherfucker back in this place because this idiot is inflating his ego way too high for my liking. Koki. Koki, 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 Koki. It's been a while. Koki, let's just remind Koki what you are. You you are this close to being a hobo. That's number one. Number two, get that fucking beanie off of your dumb head. Go take a shower. You always talk about the Chantal and her showers. Your hair looks disgusting and greasy as all hell. You're greasy. Okay, you're gross, fucking Koki. Nobody wants a crackhead filthy chef cooking them food. You can't make moussaka to save your goddamn life or baklava if you really want to go there. All your recipes look like shit. You burn everything. You're useless. <laughs> You're a user, you're an abuser, you're a taker, like a bitch. Huh? Biological destiny. You're not supposed to be the taker, Koki. I'm just saying, uh, you talk about being the big man and being able to support yourself and say, all my money goes to my family. All your money where? All the taxpayers' money that you collect as welfare or all Chantal's money that you charmoot for? Neither one is earned money, you fucking bought bitch. Take it down a notch. God damn it, he makes me mad. I'm sorry, I haven't gone in like that in a while. But um, when she tries to turn him again into something else and he sits there with that crackhead hat on, I'm sorry, it brings out the absolute worst in me. Oh, sorry, not sorry. D Higgins, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. This girl isn't wrapped right. <laughs> Understatement of the year. This girl is cracked in the mind, fuck. Wow. You know what's another fun part of watching these old uh, streams back? You see a lot of people who used to like be in the chat sometimes and stuff before they lost their fucking minds. Add D. Higgins, crazy fucking lunatic of a woman to that list. Wow. I find that amazing. Some of the names that pop up from the past, it's really whoosh. I hide them because I don't like them to be online <laughs> or they don't like to be online. Sheena, you have charm. Learn your channel. Find real love. Thank you for such a, I'm trying to. <laughs> Chef tracks you. She no, no, no. What? <laughs> she's sitting right there. He just said he's trying to find real love and she's sitting right there. She has got to be so mad right now. I'm, I love this so much. <laughs> I just wanted this stream to go on forever. Fuck the bullshit. This is amazing. She professes her love for you while you set up dates with other women. Make it make sense. Why do you keep her around? I make it make big sense. It doesn't make sense to you. It's up to you. But thanks for such that. I make much things. My life. <laughs> of course, that makes sense. Potato to French fry. Chantal, get you a side piece so he can hurt. But it what? Potato to French fry. Chantal, get a side piece so he can hurt. <laughs> he got real defensive when someone said potato. He thought it was potato fuck face. <laughs> Look at that idiot ready to attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> The chat, on the one hand, like, like they emasculate him and they embarrass her. It's like, gish, gish. I fucking love this. I love this so much. I hope he never does member-only chats because uh, this is amazing. <laughs> Adrienne, thank you so much for the super chat. I get it, FFG, but next to her, he's Brad Pitt. <laughs> Great fucking comment, girl. That was awesome. Part two. <laughs> 
Side pizza? Side piece. Like another person to fuck. Addis Ababa. Thanks for so much, Chad. <laughs> Chandel says, Are you ready for me? Money. Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa what? Addis Ababa. Chandel said she sends your mother money. No, Dude, these are don't. all things. No. These are things we don't want to talk about anymore. Just move on, you know? I think you can appreciate just positivity. I think you're my. Positivity. You shit on us with those stories. You gave us all those fucking stories. We don't want to not talk about them. Okay? It's not just up to you when you talk about shit. I mean, sort of, I guess it is. But while the comments are still able to pass through his chat, you don't get to say things like, no, we need to talk about this. We're talking about positive things. Because nobody shut you up when you were going on your millions of cracked out rants against this guy, telling us all these stories that people are now asking you questions about girl you've had your side told okay this is the first time now people are getting a chance to run all this shit by koki and nail you to the wall while you're in the same fucking room as him and watch you squirm are you kidding means the positivity two crackheads sitting in a crack i was gonna talk about positivity i don't fucking think so <laughs> i cuddles cats thank you for the super chat thank you for being here girl My mother owned my life, and I still. <laughs> Why so sad? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy here. Yeah. Are you happy? Yes. Good. I think he's just uncomfortable with very personal questions, guys, about our relationship or about anything. So. Not about everything. Well, about regarding that kind of personal stuff. Right? I put my brother picture. I make both my song. I put everything. I will put video of my the my area I grew up. I never would. Koki, no one cares. No one cares. Koki's saying he's so honest about everything. He puts up the pictures of his family. He puts up the pictures of his brother. He'll talk about the place he grew up, in the words of Eric Cook. No one cares. Koki, no one gives two fucks about where you fucking grew up, Koki. Here's the stories we want to hear about. Why'd you go to prison, uh, jail? Why'd you go to jail, Koki? Why'd you stab two people, Koki? Why'd you only get two years minus a day, Koki? How'd you meet this one, Koki? Was it boyfriend or dealer, Koki? Did you really abuse her, Koki? Is she really paying your rent for eight months, Koki? I mean, dude, we got questions, and none of them have anything to do with your fucking childhood. You're 40 years old. Who gives a shit where you grew up? The fuck are you talking about? I don't know. When I hear some guy shank two people, that's going to be the story I want to hear. You know, that's just me. I share with you everything I eat. Misty Gale, Natter, who or what inspired you to become a cook? Who what? Who or what inspired you to become a cook? I don't actually know. I started um, as a bus boy when I'm young, and I find myself like not in the way of the waiter. So um, I go through the kitchen. And, and even before I work as a bus boy, I start to cook home. Start from home. <laughs> Chantal is a queen. Never be a real man. Stop playing games. Claim your woman like a real man. Don't I'm not playing game. I play soccer. You're only making yourself a that. I play only soccer, guys. And I don't lie. I lie only in my back, honestly. I'm not going to cry, KB. <laughs> I'm okay. Why do people think I'm not okay? I didn't mute. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Why do people think I'm not okay? Because you're fucking beat red and hiding your chins and sitting there lying for this loser or covering up for now past lies. Either way, you are on the spot, man. You are nailed to the wall behind you. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm so glad we could all watch this together. Oh, <laughs> Look at how red she is. Look at, look at her. Look at me. Look at Koki. And then look at her. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. What are you talking about? The fuck? Sarah, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Danny. Danny, thanks for the super chat. Oh, that's a hero. What? What's it? <laughs> You're not gonna want me to read it, so 
<laughs> Stop beezing. <laughs> Mandy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Having so much fun. <laughs> I told you, I lie in my back. Moderators. I don't understand what Danny said. Yeah, I have lube on. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's the name? <laughs> Francisca Lopez. <laughs> yes, I lie in my back. Is he mute? No. He's not mute, guys. No. no, it's not. You hear me? <clears throat> it's not easy to answer, Misha. It's complicated. What Misha, what Misha said. You shouldn't tell your girlfriend yes or no answer. All that's not clear. She, she won't stop reading those. She's a masochist. She is a... Anyone else would be gone, let alone keep on reading all of those. He's Chantal, your girlfriend. Say Chantal's your girlfriend. He won't fucking say it. He won't say I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Isn't the dovies good? No. Say it, Koki. Say it. <laughs> we want to hear you say it. Yeah. Answer the question, Koki. Oh, my God. You sound like a cop right now. Right? <laughs> That's fantastic. Koki, you should be used to interrogations by now. Answer the question. <laughs> Pretend you're under oath again. <laughs> Kalari, thank you for the super chat, girl. Asha Morton, are you in love with my pal? She keeps muting. Thanks for the super chat. It's not muting, guys. No matter how come she pronounces your name. That I need to repeat every fucking word every time, all night. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we're there for Oh, my God. Nick444, 444, thank you for the super chat. Totally agree. I miss this so much. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at how happy she was. I mean, not here. She's miserable because he's not going along with her stupidities. But just in general, she she fucking loved this crackhead. It's so fucked. Times to talk to you, but that's it. It's unmuted now. Okay, let's just put it this way. What? It's clear to us what we are, not to the public right now. That's Who's how you that? want it to be, right? Do hmm? you want to be private? What does she think they are? Fucking like Brad Pitt and and, and like uh, Angelina Jolie. It's clear to us what we are, but not to the public. Crackheads, take it down a notch. Oh my God, what is this? The public, the public need to know what you are. Oh. <laughs> I am mortified for her. And she just keeps going. I can't, I can't. So just say that and that's it. I say that already. Okay. Look at her. She is sitting in life with that thing on her face like that. Look, look at her. There's, she's She's serious right now. This is serious. They have it muted, not me. Oh my God, look at them. No, that is the perfect pause. <laughs> her with that fucking thing halfway up her face and him with the cigarette dangling and his prison glasses on. I can't, I, I can't look at, the, look at them, look at them. And he's sitting there in the shirt that mommy purchased. But bitch. Oh. Sorry, guys. I was bringing my cigarette. Owner, she mutes when you're away, Natter. Yes, I know. He knows I that. just told her. <laughs> Who's she going to keep talking?
No, people are bored. Bored? Yeah, Krista asked why people want us to fight or want drama. I said boredom. <laughs> right? I mean. Mm -hmm. Sasha Morton, another super chat. Are you in love with Chantal? Sasha. How are you doing? Thanks for super chat. I already answered. No, you didn't, Koki. No, you didn't already answer. Thanks for super chat. He's such a bitch. He is a charmeuse. Anything. Thanks for super chat. <sighs> Are you in love with Chantal? And she's so excited and like, oh my God, please say yes, please say yes. You know, as she sits there with that thing halfway up her face, squeezing her boobs together to create cleavage. Do you notice that? Did you know? I'm sure y'all noticed that. Okay. Oh. What are we doing? <laughs> oh my God. Radblad, thank you again for the super chat, girl. Will you guys exchange Christmas gifts? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't believe gifts. Gift every time gift. Gift whenever you I don't want. Wait for all years to give present or gifts to my friends or my family. Gift every time. Oh, that is so cute of him. You hear that? Koki doesn't like to wait until holidays to give gifts. Koki gives gifts all the time. He's such a generous little guy. It's true. He gave her the clap. In the middle of summer for no reason at all. It wasn't even her birthday. She's such a lucky lady. I hope she thanked him. I mean, <laughs> the bot bitch is talking about giving gifts, Koki. We know you get the gifts, right? That's what Sharmuthas do. Please. Christina the Latina girl, I saw you in his chat last night. Oh my God. Remember like I said about blasts from the past? That fucking Christina the Latina, a.k.a. Gorlick Bread, a.k.a. whatever the fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. She's driving right now stone. Always, always and consistently for the past eight months at least, right? Mousy Mama. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. The cutout in that shirt makes it look like a plumber's <laughs> God, you're so right. Oh, and she sits there like this, pushing them together. I, I can't. I hate that shirt so much. Who would try on that shirt and then go, oh, shit, yeah, this is fucking awesome. Let me pull it up a little here. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at me. I don't know. I don't know. Who told? <gasps> the same person who told her she can sing told her that shirt looks good on her. There, I've solved it. Let's move on. I'm the big gift. I'm the big gift. Hey, what? Shut up. <laughs> Why are you talking? Oh, here. <laughs> yeah. If you lost 80, why does the pink dress fit the same? Oh, you're talking about Is me? To you. What? I lost weight too. Which pink Why dress? Why nobody tell me I lost weight? I don't lose weight. Look, you hear my scale. I, you've seen me weigh myself yesterday. If you still don't believe me, I don't know what else to say. Then don't believe me. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, my God. Some things will never change, eh? Lying about the 80-pound weight loss. And that was a great comment. If you lost 80 pounds, how come that hideous fucking pink dress still fits you exactly the same? Oh, my God. You saw the scale for yourself. Because she's been fucking the scales forever. Oh, my God. That's so funny. If you think I'm 400, if you think I'm huge, like Melanie just pointed out, or if I'm 300 pounds or whatever, it doesn't bother, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Cassie, you are beautiful no matter what you weigh. Exactly. Everyone is. I always say that. Everybody's beautiful. Believe yourself. That's it. Some people think I'm very skinny, but I'm actually I'm strong. 
Try me. <laughs> the last person who did got stabbed. I'm so strong. I need to pick up a knife to fight a woman like a bitch. I'm so strong. Try me. Look at him. He Look at how fucking cracked out he looks. Just first of all, I don't care what anyone says. The combo of that hat and those prison glasses. Try me. Koki, people avoid crackheads in life. I'm just saying, okay? Second of all, if you really wanted to dance, little man. <laughs> uh, let's not even go there. You'll end up back in prison. And I'm not getting stabbed, just so we're clear. <laughs> Sasha Morton, then why do you try to hide your chins? This honestly choke it. If I keep it here, it bothers me after a while. Like, so I like to have it like this. You can go like this if you want. I don't mind. Honestly, like it when I wear it normally, um, like it chokes me. So I still bought it, and I keep buying these stupid tops. But honestly, I'm being honest right now, guys. It has nothing to do with hiding my chins. What the fuck is this? What is she doing? Is this for Koki? Is this bullshit? Because he doesn't buy it either. I don't like him, but he's not as dumb as, like, she's pretending right now. Nikita, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Not about Koki, but FFG. I just there you go. <laughs> Can you please wash your hands? I always wash my hands. You don't believe how much I wash my hands when I'm always picky with my hand when I cook. Everything has to be clean. This is one of my big problems in any place I work in. My counter is haram. They're not allowed to use it. Haram for them. Okay, is the crack haram? Is drugs in general haram? Is taking advantage of another person to pay your shit haram? Is gambling haram? Is the shit you do haram? Is the life you live haram? Don't be talking. Don't even talk about what's halal and haram, Koki. Please. You are the walking epitome of what is haram. Don't manipulate people with that bullshit either. I've said it before. I, I say it now all the time. I hate when people use that kind of like, you know, religion and stuff to manipulate. It's so gross. It, a fucking crackhead trying to and a cosplaying asshole also now present day doing the same. Just gross. Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing line. Wow. Thank you for the super chat. I'm glad you made it through the first week and I'm glad you're here. Wow. We, that's got drugs that were made all out. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nick444, thank you for the super chat. Is this recorded on Koki's phone? Yes. Yes, it is. They were live on Koki's channel. Passion Tim, the face filter is off. We see the truth, woman. Go to the gym. Stop going to fast food places when you leave Natter. Well, don't ask me for McDonald's bees. I'm joking. I'm blaming you, Passion Tim. I keep okay. searching for Jim, good Jim, by the way. Have you dated a Chinese lady? Once. Doesn't work. At all. But not because she's Chinese. Just because... No, I have no problem with Chinese, Filipinese, whatever. <laughs> no, I have no problem with Chinese. Japanese, European, whatever, as long as they're willing to pay my rent. No problem. <laughs> Katie, thank you so much for, oh God, it's Christina the Latina again. Holy shit. Katie, thank you so, so much for, ah, Conehead, you can't be jumping up yet. Thank you for the super chat, girl. So nice that she was finally honest about her weight. How did we ever live without that precious, right? Uh-huh. If there's one consistent thing with Chantal, she will lie about her weight. Now, look again. Fucking Christina the Latina was all over this chat. It's so creepy now. It's like seeing a ghost. Thank you again for Super Chat Girl. Was in his chat and asked about the glory hole. Girl, I told you. I, I saw you in that chat. Yes, I'm the one that edited this shit. <laughs> wow. Great questions. Fantastic. Love it. Wait, 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 wait. So, Gore like bread. 
was in Koki's chat asking about glory holes. The fuck. <laughs> Love it. You set, you set off a little moment between them. Love that. <laughs> Eerie T, thank you again for the super chat. The shirt looked nice on the model. Yes. exactly. That's what we were saying, that it's not a turtle. Like, we said this when she first bought it. Um, We had seen the picture of it on Pennington's website. Like, like it just sits like a normal neck. She just doesn't have a neck. So it's like it's up here in her face, you know? No shade. I don't mean that as body shaming. You have to know your body, right? Your body. Adisa Baba. Come down. <laughs> you don't speak Arabic then. <laughs> no, 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 Koki. Excuse me. If I'm remembering correctly. Hey, Ozzy, thank you for the super chat. Just called her a cow a couple of times. And worse than that, because that's one thing. Oh, you're mad. Listen, she laughs when he, when he calls her a buffalo. I don't see what's different if he would call her a cow. Honestly, why is that more insulting than the other? Here's what I find worse. He laughs. I've seen a couple of times where people have called her a cow in the comment. People have said it in the comments in Arabic to him. He reads it, acknowledges it, and laughs. I think that's worse. So there, it's not like, oh, him making a little comment about you and you're going to giggle it away. No, that's somebody making jokes about you and you're a boyfriend laughed at you. That's what's bad. My opinion. T.S. Young Cop, thank you for the super chat. Just kidding. He's not a cow. I don't call it a cow. I call it a buffalo. <laughs> a buffalo is a cow. No. A pretty cow. <laughs> <laughs> what a romantic. Well, it does make me laugh, though. Eat the vibe. I call him a pretty cow. I don't know. No, but I don't know. I'll exit. You see in my face if I lie. We joke I about, we joke. I call him giraffe. He calls me buffalo. Giraffe? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Does that look like a giraffe? Yeah, a little. Long. You guys look cute. You guys look like the number 10. No, yes! 10? Yes! No, it's not 10. 100. 100. No, we were in the mirror. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. So somebody sends a shady comment. You look like the number 10. She goes, remember when you said that? He said, no, 100. No! <laughs> he is such a fucking bitch. I love it. But Koki, sir, she pays your rent. <laughs> Shoma. <laughs> Have a little fucking respect, my dude. That's taking it a little far, ma. Barbie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, yeah. And she just laughs. Uh, no bad Tom. We do know about the Salty Shannon and FFG impersonators the other day in Chantal's chat. For good luck. We Camel, yeah. Camel? Yeah. Camel. Maybe we're mean to each other, but it's only for joking. Can you kick her out? No, it's cold. Why? Why are you being rude? Is it true in Egypt, instead of, like, you know, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken? Mm -hmm. They have Kentucky Fried Camel. <laughs> That's a good one. I heard a joke. It's well, Amy's life journey. Kentucky mode. Fried Sand, too, in the business. <laughs> That's not funny. Is it true in Egypt you have Kentucky Fried Camel? And he goes, that's a good one. No, it's not. It's not funny. Why? Why are they laughing like that? I... She's such a fucking idiot. Yeah, that, I mean, that sounds fucking racist to me, too. Stu Who, Jen? Who is it? I don't know. Stupid, if nothing else. I would be like, no, no, we don't. Hmm? What a fucking ignorant dumb You can kind of tell someone who's never left their own country by the jokes they make sometimes, you know? Nobody who's traveled or seen everything, anything of the world would say something as stupid as, Is it in Egypt? Is it true? Oh, I know, I know. 
Joe, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Looking for trouble? That is the most <laughs> ignorant, like, fucking... Uh, anyway, whatever, Chantel. Oh, I'm sorry. It's true. She did cross the border to go and get some fucking fast food. World traveler right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I've seen your comment a thousand times about me being round. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this? What about me? You're like pencil. I'm round. No pencil. Pencil and eraser. Shut up. Oh, he didn't like that. Did you see that? That's amazing. He fat shames her all the time. All the time. She called him a pencil and he told her to shut up. Fair, but... She giggles like an asshole when you fat shame her all the time. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Shut up. Cookie, I wouldn't even call you a pencil. I'd call you a toothpick. A used toothpick that somebody just like flicks off of their finger and onto a dirty floor. That's Cookie. Mostly with that hat on. Jazzy J-L-A. Thank you. Damn, I really had a problem with that hat, didn't I? Mike Hunt, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I mean, she might. Fuck, I don't. I don't know what to say to that. Like, she might. Really? Oh. Yeah. What actually, does it taste like? actually, deer meat or camel meat is very healthy. Really? Yeah. And pigeon, they eat pigeons. We eat pigeons too. And they're very healthy. I'm good, Colleen. How are you? But far more home pigeon, like they you grow them home, not uh not wild pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. This we have pick parking lot pigeons here. Abby and Punisher and everybody <coughs> talking about my cats. We are bringing them to the vet this month, and they are fine. Actually, Punisher, BB. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're gonna hold this to it. We'll we'll, we'll hold her to it. Although, what's the point? She never does it anyway. But we have a new date now. Tate. <laughs> They're taking the cats to the vet this month. Okay? It's December. Anyway. Let's let's see if the cats go to the vet this month. BJ has always been a very finicky cat with throwing up. Um, it might be, I don't know what, like hairballs, but also... She throws up a lot. I've been brought her to the vet many times. We've changed. Frenchie from the present here, again, just to say that it's so like question mark over my head when she repeats that because no, she's not. BBJ is not a pukey cat at all. I don't know what the hell was going on then that BBJ was such a pukey cat. Was she puking as like um, uh, a side effect of one of her medical problems or i have no idea but all that to say long story short definitely definitely not a pukey cat sure food everything and the same thing with scratching sometimes she scratches since i got her it's just how it's always been so uh again she was scratching at her ears because her ears were so filthy that's why she had the bald spots like on top of her ears because of all the, the kicking at them, the scratching at them because her ears were so dirty. Since they cleaned her ears out, the hair has grown back and she does not scratch. There was a reason. When animals are, are, are behaving strangely, there's a fucking reason. She just didn't care to find out why. Do you have any mashy really? That cat is not here. Not or do you make gyro? Yes. Where's my pineapple upside down cake? Coming. I've been waiting here. Talia Faye. Let her see the right now. Oh, Talia wants it. Let her see the right now. Talia loves me. Lorenza, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thank you for the super chat, girl. It's no shade at all, and I don't not care at all. I'm sorry. Make, just email me a second time. It's like I um don't answer that stuff no it's just because like youtube is tricky with political stuff so i'm not sure what no i mean i like political stuff every country has a right to control their own country nobody else will go trying to tell them do this or do that 
Sadi, long time I don't see you. How are we doing? Hi, Sadie. Take us down to the dungeon. Oh, the basement. <laughs> you guys like that? Maybe when I go live, I will, because I got to get my laundry. Your laundry will be upstairs. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, he, he asked me to help him read comments. That's why I'm here reading them. <laughs> Maybe my phone charge now. Oh, somebody became a member. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Welcome to Friends with Welcome friends. to Franco's Benefits. Oh, I skipped Sadie Super. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry, Sadie. Yeah, a lot of them. Oh, my God. I forgot that's what he called his membership. Friends with Benefits. God, he's so gross. Every way you can be gross. And play right into the gross. Friends with Benefits. Tabarnak, the nerve of this crackhead. Eileen, thank you for the super chat. Some came in at once here. Oh, here we go. Oh, Sadie. <coughs> Holy shit. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Frenchie from the present again. Hold on. Hold on. I want to put Tweety's. <laughs> Tweety, is this true? She's the one who came up with fucking friends with benefits. Sick. Looking clean. Your place is looking like her. She really lives like a toddler, not an adult. That's not why you feed Nadir. I'm trying to. Thank <laughs> <you> so <much. laughs> Sorry, y'all. A little distracted there for a minute. Chantal's flaccid foreskin turtle knife. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Pigeon meat is called squab. How classy. I had no idea. Thanks for the info. <laughs> I appreciate that. Did you hear that shady... <laughs> I tried to throw out the cotton clean, right? Which what? what? We hate Chantal. Your channel is better without her. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think I would hate her too. <laughs> <laughs> no elbows. Have a good night, guys. Great night, guys. Thanks, Monique. Monique, hi Monique. I'm on a charm here for you, Chantal. I go where the train wrecks goes. LD, Natter, your place is starting to look as messy as hers. Bet it's starting no, to No, my place never messy, you guys. No, it's not. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. I cannot leave with mess. Kristen. <laughs> FFG sends you burnt fries. Fuck his. <laughs> she sends you burnt french fries. <laughs> burnt french fries. Match is fuckface. What did, did he say? Match is fuckface. I have to hear that again because even me, who can normally you know like translate him, I, I think that's what he said, but I'm not sure. Did he say it matches fuckface? Did he just call me burnt? What the here for real? You're not blocked. The fuck. Fries. Fuck his. <laughs> she sent you burnt French fries. <laughs> burnt French fries. Match is fuck face. Match is fuck face. That's what I got from that. What the fuck? What is he talking about? <laughs> okay, sure. I'm burnt French fries. You know what, Koki? I can cook chicken without burning it. I can make bechamel, and I don't call myself a, a chef. Fuck face. How about that? <laughs> I also, though, you know, I haven't been to prison for shanking anybody. There's also that. Why are you guys bothering Monique? Monique is a good person. Yeah, when Koki says that somebody's a good person equals to me, they are not a good person. What are you bothering Monique? I'll tell you why we're bothering Monique. Monique has been your, like, original supporter. Monique was there as we're finding out all the dirty shit about you, super shuffing you, and super chatting Chantal, and being all supportive of the crackhead couple. We don't like Monique, okay? If Monique is open and able to support whoever she wants, we are able to talk about Monique. 
Okay, Monique. Keep super chatting a crackhead, an abusive one. Well done, Monique. You really know how to pick them. And then bitching that people are, uh, people are giving me shit. Yeah, people don't like people who support an abuser. <gasps> Crazy, eh? Fuck. Does not her super chat money go into Chantel's bank account or not hers? Why? <laughs> Why are you trying to be mean? <laughs> my money is my money. <laughs> Man, Charmouth! Man, Charmouth! Why did he say it like that? My money is my money. <laughs> that needs to go in the fucking intro for next week, too. And I need to hear that one again. Why did he say it like that? He sounded like a pimp. It was funny. Nikita, thank you again for the super chat, girl. FIO, you were right. He said he never went to culinary school. Or had the qualifications in previous live stream that he's a chef because back in Egypt he was taught. Why does super chat money go into Chantel's bank account or not hers? Why? <laughs> Why are you trying to be mean? <laughs> my money is my money. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? My money is my money. <laughs> If I didn't hate him so much, I would have actually loved that moment because that was really funny, but I hate him. So it's like tainted always. Everything he does, my money is my money. <laughs> that is going in the new intro next week. Yes. So the answer is, yeah, no, it doesn't go into my account. Actually, my money is my family money. Oh, you have How's a new going? member. You know what that was? You know what that was right here? He's the martyr. He's the martyr, the little bitch drumming up super chats because all the money that I get goes to my family. Really, Koki? Why'd you buy all those drugs then? Couldn't that have been money you sent to your family? Koki, why do you sit home like a man bitch on welfare, right? You're so able-bodied. You got all of these talents. Get off of your fucking soft ass. Go get a job and send all that money to your family. Don't sit there now manipulating the members and the viewers for what? Super chats to send money to your family? I want to see receipts. How much money you send to your family, you fucking lie. I don't actually want to see the receipts. I, I literally don't care at all. I also don't buy this for one fucking second. There is no way. No way. Koki, shut up. Save your fucking manipulation, you fucking crackhead. A prostitute. Prostitute. What you said? Welcome to Friends with Benefits. Welcome to Friends with, Benefits. Friends with Benefits. What's your name? Prostitute. I will say a difference. Prostitute. <laughs> Not to do all the men in your family cook and clean up after their girlfriends. <laughs> Sheena super chat. Sheena. Chantel drives wasted. I hope you go to prison. No, I don't. <laughs> Me? Me. Why? I don't wish anybody to went to prison. To wear a hijab? He's not funny and he cannot sing. Tell him the truth. So why are you here? Don't bother yourself. Bye. <laughs> Oh, you want me to say goodbye? I work both way. You can leave, I can make you leave. <laughs> See you on my channel, No Name Chips. Go again, go there. <laughs> I'm not funny. You don't like me. I don't know how to say <laughs> me. I don't know how to go. So why are you here? Doesn't make sense. You doesn't make even your own word doesn't make sense to you. Stop playing dumb, you little Sharmutha. You know exactly why people are here. People aren't here for your talents. You don't have any. You can't cook. You can't sing. You don't do jack shit. You're boring as all hell. Everybody's here because of Chantal. Everybody knows it. It's simple to see. Anybody who doubts that, go and look at his views. Look at the live streams where Chantal is sitting there with him or when there's like bullshit tea going on. Look at the views. And then look at his fucking cooking video views. Cookie, shut up. You know exactly. If you don't like me, if you don't, nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. And I stand by this. I've been saying it and I'll keep on saying it. When this little relationship is done or whatever you want to call it, Cookie, no one's going to be watching you like that. Nobody wants to watch a crackhead with no personality cook. If we want to watch a crackhead cook, we could find an entertaining one. You aren't that guy, guy. <laughs> Do you? Pretend to love me. I don't need to pretend to love anybody. <laughs> don't need to pretend. Me, it's me. Thanks for super chat again. <coughs> you guys hang on my words. 
believe me, if I lie about something, you will see my face right away. Can I ask you if that hole in the basement was gory hole? You think is that funny? Christina, be nice. You know when you go like this? I know. Christina Latina, I'm being nice. She said, she said it, not me. You said that? What? <laughs> Mother, your hole? Yeah. There's a hole in the basement. I said, is this a glory hole? <laughs> Are you trying to be funny? Yeah. Actually, what? Thanks, funny. Christina. Flop era. Flop era. Okay, now wait. Hold up, hold up. We need to stop for a minute because these are always the best. Remember this moment because it's going to come up again <laughs> in a later stream, okay? She addresses why she never defends Pete's. But there, there. Again, someone taking a shot at Pete's. And what does Koki say? Maybe Koki will find his other half. Maybe Koki. Maybe Pete's will find his other half if he takes a shower. Well, he sits there next to Chantal, okay? Who we know doesn't shower for days at a time. We like we know this. It's not even shade. It's just facts at this point. And he's been sleeping with her. And you're really gonna talk shit about some random person that you don't have to smell or sit next to's hygiene habits? Like, Koki, I would not even go anywhere near that topic if I was you, Koki. Jesus, pathetic. <laughs> Have Fatty set up talk to text. It reads messages out loud. You look down, she mutes on and off. It's annoying. No. Do you like Chantal's shirt today? Cats and hats asks. That's not bad. <laughs> Miss Mew, thank you for the super chat, girl. FFG, as we're counting down to the new season of As Chantopolis Burns Canada 2.0, who would you rather be the male lead, Salad or Koki? You have to pick one and why. Oh, I think it's pretty obvious. I would rather be Koki. I would rather be Koki for us, for our entertainment. Uh, that's who she's in love with. That's who was able to fake chemistry with her a lot better. Uh, and this is the best arc that's ever existed in Chantopolis. 100% without second th uh, thought, it's Koki. Absolutely Koki. Fuck salad. If we never saw salad again, I would be happy. What happened? Hold on, there's one of these good marks. No, I don't know. Chantal is finally hits me. Why? Why did they hit me? No. Look at her. Look at her. She actually said no while covering her chin. Why would they hate me? Koki, listen, we're not even going to get into the whole fucking list. We all know why they hate you, okay? And this idiot sits there and goes, no. Really, Chantal? Prove it. Prove to us that your family doesn't hate Koki. You know how you could prove that to us? Invite the family over for a crackhead Christmas at the trap house. That's what we all really want to see. Think about it. It's a win-win. You get us off your backs. You prove to everyone like you just said. No. The family doesn't hate Koki. Koki gets to cook everybody a fucking turkey meal. The traditional Christmas meal, right? You get the views because you would live stream it and everybody would watch that shit. Chantal, prove it. Prove it, big mouth liar with your... Prove it. Prove it! <laughs> we all know she can't prove it because there's no fucking way the family would come to a crack house for Christmas. That's just not going to happen. And there's no way that the crackhead would be invited to theirs for Christmas. Also not going to happen. Koki's not BB. Let's get it straight, okay? But prove it, Chantal. Prove me wrong. Hmm? I'm such a liar. I'm such an asshole. Invite the family over to the crack house for Christmas. A, cr a crackhead Christmas. Christmas at the trap. We'll come up with a nice title for you. You can make a nice little thumbnail. You'll get so many views. Everyone would love to watch that gruel. Uh, Frenchie from the present here would legit pay money to see a crackhead Christmas. Christmas at the crack house. 
whatever you want to call it. I want to see Shmi. I want to see the sister. I want to see Uncle Phil and the actual uncle and stuff. Everybody goes to a crack house for Christmas dinner. Oh, my God. And, yeah, because Koki cooked the turkey, he cooked it in under 20 minutes, and the whole goddamn thing is raw inside. It would be amazing. <laughs> oh, I would pay money to see that. T.S. Yomtop, thank you again for the super sticker. Brit Jam, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. He had his oh, Teddy, thanks for the chat. What happened? Does Chantel's unwashed body leave skid marks? <laughs> leave what? Skid marks. A skid marks. Shit stains. <laughs> نادر إذا كنت تحب هذه المرأة كلها باللغة الإنجليزية هل تفتح الكتاب؟ أفتح كتابي ما فهمتش عليك guys read this beautiful native yes I'm real I cook clean and work yes that's good for you I cook, clean, I work too. Uh, no, you don't, Koki. Frenchie from the present here. Pixie, I, I agree. It's not Nat's fault, okay? Nat would be there for us. Nat gave really good, like, resting bitch face directed at Chantal. Specific there was that pizza stream at her mother's house. Chantal went live. The she, Nat is, like, <laughs> just visibly looking at Chantal with, like, daggers you know oh my god just watching her react to the crack house chantal the crackhead it would have been great no sir no you don't excuse me take cl uh work right out of your mouth you cook and you clean fine we'll give you two out of three but you don't work who are you trying to fool cookie Cooking and working is not the same thing. You don't work outside the house. You cook food for you and your charmut to eat. That's not a job. I don't care how many times you try to convince people otherwise. Is that real woman? But what you mean? You just if you're real woman, you cook and clean and work. That's limited. You limited so much. Woman, real woman, much more than that. Koki's going to teach us all what a real woman is now. Are you an actual couple again, like you admit to being boyfriend and girlfriend? Who said that? Anything will happen, I'll let you know, guys. Don't even worry. And what? Keep her fed and drugged and you have all the power. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Neither are you engaged to beat? Sakura, man. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> beat single for how many years? He's trying to find one can take the smell. Pete's has been single for how many years? He's trying to find one who can take the smell. Cool. Koki has not been single for all these years, except he shanked his ex-girlfriend and went to jail for two years minus a day. I don't know. I'd rather a little stink. Maybe that's just me. Stink or shank? That is the question. He shall live three, four days. Is this what he say? Super chat. Your cat suffer alone? My cats are not suffering, guys. Thanks to a chat. <laughs> My TV's here, guys. What the? Can you watch? Nanner, could you beat peace and arm wrestle? Do it for Egypt. Nobody's <laughs> arm wrestling anybody. Two seconds. No more. 
Koki is so stupid. He's so stupid. That was a pretty funny joke. Like, do it for Egypt, you know? That's funny. You should have laughed at that, Koki. No, look at Mr. Macho Man taking it serious. Two seconds. Two seconds, I take him down. Two seconds. I do it for Egypt. Koki, relax. It was a fucking joke. It's not your, like, uh, national uh, pride on the line here. It was a joke, dude. Calm down, Koki. Look at him. Everything is like a fight. I mean, this guy... This is why he stabbed people. Look at him. He's so quick to like fight people. Get all fucking aggressive. Two seconds. We do it for Egypt. <laughs> shh, shh. He needs tea. This guy, if he drinks coffee, he needs to stop. Even tea. There's too much caffeine in that shit. Koki, Koki, calm down. Calm down. Koki, breathe, my dude. Breathe. Whew. Rita, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Now, did you enjoy reading? Krista asks. Yes. I wish I could read them all. Not all, actually. Some, no. They don't deserve it. <laughs> what the shit was that? What do. <laughs> okay, here's what I understood from that. Somebody asked Koki, do you enjoy reading? As in books, you know? Books. This. Man, Sharmu, because all he's thinking of is the super chats. Goes, yes, I enjoy reading, but not all of them. Some of them don't. Des some of you don't deserve it, Koki. No one was talking about reading the super chat. Someone just asked you if you like to read. Whose mind? Who's who gets asked if they like to read, and their mind goes to super chats? That's not the question they were asking you about books and the way you answered it makes me wonder if you've ever read one just saying <laughs> asterix your fiance bathes less than pete's does Pete? maybe before but now it's twice a day <laughs> <laughs> hey i know she takes showers I never see adults go online, say, uh, I don't need shower, I need shower every three, four days. <clears throat> you, if you need shower every three days or four days, you need help. Uh, let's go in really quick. So guys, yeah. time. <laughs> Thanks for joining my live stream. And I wish you a wonderful night, everyone. Yes, guys. See you later, maybe. Bye. Bye. Oh, I wanted to know if they would do anything real cracked out right at the last second there. Wow, was that ever a good stream? Holy crap. Iconic moment of Crackhead Olympics. Chantal, shut down. The engagement doesn't exist. The ring she purchased herself. He never meant it to be an engagement ring. They got in a fight between ordering a ring and the ring being uh, delivered. The engagement is off. He is just shutting the whole thing down. So embarrassing for her. <sighs> Hitting on people in the chat, saying that he's looking for love. Oh, my God. And she is just turning every shade of fucking tomato. Wow. Hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I will miss crack at Olympics. I don't care. This was the happiest she ever was. And look how badly she was being treated. How fucked up is that? Holy shit. But for us, hmm, the peak, the peak of her online existence, 100%. Wow. All right. Listen, I'm so hype about this crack at Olympics right now. And it's heating up the closer we get to Christmas. Because you know, when Dee Dee's company shuts down for Christmas time, she goes to the trap house and she stays her entire Christmas vacation over at the trap. We all know that's when shit gets insane. All right. We are days now in the lead up to Christmas. It's just getting fightier, crackier and more unhinged. Ah, I'm living. So listen, tomorrow, I don't think we'll be going on Twitch. All right. But uh, Sunday, we're going to be live on Twitch. I don't, I don't know what time. We'll discuss it tomorrow when we're live on YouTube, all right? And we're going to blow through a couple of streams of Crackhead Olympics in one 
big Twitch stream. All right. It's going to be fun. We'll probably do some more here on YouTube too. Cause when we do them on YouTube, I know that she's watching <laughs> and probably shedding a couple of tears through the good old days and the love that got away. Ha! <laughs> Meanwhile, Dee Dee and Koki are watching and high-fiving each other, laughing at her like the rest of us. Mm. Anyway, y'all, what a great fucking time it was tonight. Thank you so, so much for being here and for all of the laughs. A great Friday. We didn't really have butt stuff or cheese, but still, a fantastic Friday. We had one of Chantal's most embarrassing moments. That counts. <laughs> y'all, whatever you're doing with the rest of your Friday nights, have fun enjoy it. Be safe. All right. And I will meet you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.